at the cemetery near where I live and this is all buckwheat. Look at all this buckwheat. All this buckwheat here. Out here. This is where they used to burn the bodies. I'm thinking about actually putting a beehive either behind this here, right here, or you know, um, inside that building, just kind of secretly. I could put it under here, right here, and put a cover on it. And um, all this is going to be flowering. It's already starting to flower. It's going to be full of white flowers here within a couple weeks. Maybe sooner, within a week. All this is going to be flowers for bees. Tons of bees. So I think I'm going to actually move my small beehive that I have at a Farm out here. All of this. And all of this is actually safe. There's been lots of rain, so probably all the water has been washed out and the water should be safe. But let me show you, um, give you a tour of what a graveyard is here in Japan. So this is where they used to burn the bodies. They don't anymore. So this, this room is like a perfect place for, um, maybe Mr. Spider. Sorry, buddy. So this here is where they used to burn the bodies. The body in here, fill it with coals and then burn it. And then all the bones and stuff afterwards, they would just pick up all the bones down here. And uh, obviously they would put sake on the body, probably blessed. That sake is probably was poured on the body as an offering. There's wood for the burning, they just use wood. And here's the kiln. So the body would be laid in here. They put this on top and burn it. And look at all the black smoke. The numbers of bodies, the thousands of bodies that have been burnt in here. Probably, I wonder if there'd be some ghosts in here. If you see any effects on the camera, it's probably a ghost. They would probably get upset though if I put the bees in here. It looks like it's been kept updated. But it would be a great place for beehive in here. Right. They could actually fly out of the roof or fly out of this door. So, I wonder for a short time whether I can get away with it secretly. A little here. Here's a graveyard. This is actually where my family, where my wife's family is buried. Here are the old stones. Now in Japan, they only bury the throat bone. The throat bone. It's one of the hardest bones and they put it inside. So each one of these graves basically has many, many, many ancestors in them. And I'll show you my family's grave. But as you can see, they they have an ep epitaph up there about the family. I don't know what it says. But um, here, you know, and obviously people with money, they put a lot of time. It looks like they put the names of the folks there, I, I, I believe. I don't know. But the the body is actually inside here, in they move the stone. This stone comes out, and inside there is the stone, is the body, or is the throat. The stone moves. Um, I'm not sure how, but maybe this stone here comes off. This bottom stone, or oh, this middle stone. I don't know how they do. It. I've never seen them put it in there. So here is actually our families are all. This is Suyama. Okay, this is actually. Ours has not been updated because we have no money. So this is the original one. And this here, unless this is, this is us too, or relatives, these are all relatives, but people are slowly updating their, or maybe this is us, this looks new. Maybe they updated it. I can't, I don't know. I tend to remember like this, so I think they spent some money. I don't think that's it. I, or may, I think these three are the ones we usually pray at. And um, it's kind of like the Joneses. As soon as these people started doing this, this probably one of the first ones. Then another person did it, another person did it, another person did it. And they just update and update and update. And now it's like everyone, I mean, in the five years, there weren't, you know, these are all within five years, these new, these new ones have been put up there. So this is a Japanese 
graveyard. You walk across a grave. This is a really old one. Probably this one, the family's probably died out and there's no one maintaining it, right? This plot right here I'm walking on. Looks like it's they probably all the ancestors have died. You can tell which ancestors are, are still here and which ones aren't by the quality probably of the stones. You know what? I'm you know I bet that's ours in the middle. All of our, our other family. But you can see they're worn away. And they put some money. These are expensive to put in here. So, they're the old stones. They don't throw anything away in Japan. The old stone table. I wonder if they what this table's for. The body was put on here. Was this like the butchering block for cutting up? The body it looks like the the lion, the witch, and the wardrobe. The lion body here. So I'm gonna take some pictures.